Good morning. Here's a look at our temperatures. Different from yesterday. We are looking at some 40s and some 30s out there, so not quite as warm. Into the mid to upper 30s for your current temperatures over in Devil's Lake and in Jamestown. It's 45 in Fargo, 42 in Grand Forks, 48 in Bemidji, and 46 at the moment in uh, Detroit Lake, so not quite as warm. There's one spot where we're hanging on to the 50s, 52 over in Wadena, but it's a different day. In fact, yesterday we're showing you just how warm we were compared to the day before. Today, it's the opposite. We're looking at how cold we are compared to this time yesterday. It's not terrible, but we were just so mild that there is a noticeable difference. It feels like we're about six, or it is 16 degrees cooler in Gwinter uh, than we were yesterday and 17 degrees cooler in Sisseton. So we're starting that cooling trend here uh, for the next several days. It's 28 degrees right now in Grand Forks, 20 or 28 mile per hour speed in Grand Forks, 22 in Jamestown, a 21 mile per hour speed in Langdon. And a look at your radar shows some interesting interesting colors popping up. We've got some green on the warmer side of this round of rain, but there's also some snow showing up over by Langdon and just west of Devil's Lake. Potential snow falling there, stretching back over toward the Bismarck area this morning. Putting this into motion, the system overall moving to the east. Uh, these areas of rain and snow kind of drifting to the northeast, though, at this point. So uh, that's going to be the focus this morning for any uh, precip that has an impact on your morning drive. Elsewhere in the country, we're looking at some rain showers along the Mississippi River in eastern Iowa, moving into Wisconsin, some uh, rain showers as well. We're nice and quiet on the east coast, just like we want to see right now. Uh, too. So here's a look at your forecast today. Mostly cloudy, that chance for some rain. This mo particular model run, not picking up the rain and the snow that we're getting uh, right now, but the potential is there. And by 9 o'clock, we're looking at temperatures right around 40 degrees. All of us climbing to at least 40 today for highs, but it's going to be a struggle to warm up. So uh, just keep that in mind. A cool day, you'll want to wear that coat when you step out the door. And Maybe just in case, grab that umbrella too. Not heavy amounts of precip, but, but the potential is there uh, to get rained on or even snowed on. And on top of that, we've got that wind coming in out of the north and on the brisk side as well. By this afternoon, we're looking at temperatures that make their way into the mid 40s to some upper 40s for the most part. The one area that's going to be cool is over by Langdon and Devil's Lake. We'll get to around 40 degrees there. And then maybe start sliding once precip starts again uh, this afternoon and this evening for you. This whole area just kind of slides easily eastward. The focus for the snow will mainly be up north, but can't rule out a snowflake or two over by Jamestown uh, and into the late night hours tonight. Still kind of ongoing at that point uh, in that region. Through the overnight hours, we'll see some of those flakes still flying around up in our northwestern viewing area. And with temperatures dropping down to around freezing, some of those grassy surfaces may see a little dusting of white there uh, by tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be ranging anywhere from around freezing or maybe a degree or two cooler into the upper 30s to start off your day tomorrow. Now ahead for later on in the morning hours tomorrow, temperatures start those climb, that climb uh, back into that 40 degree range by lunchtime. We'll hopefully get those clouds out of here and at least get some sunshine to brighten the spirits a bit. But I don't think temperatures are going to uh, do very well. In fact, I think most places again tomorrow in the 40s. There's a shot at seeing 50, but it just doesn't look like a really warm day ahead of us. And especially tomorrow night and after things clear out, we're already seeing temperatures near freezing. We're looking at some frost and maybe even a uh, hard freeze for a couple of folks uh, for tomorrow night and into the early part of the day Thursday. Gorgeous sunrise. This was taken near Ashby, Minnesota. Ryan Olson, thank you so much for uploading that photo to our website. Gorgeous colors showing up there. Next couple of days cold. We have that chance for some rain, perhaps even a little snow mixed in. And as we move ahead toward the rest of our forecast, expect to see some sunshine Thursday and gradual warming even by Friday. Things are looking and feeling a whole lot better. Mostly sunny 66. Saturday there is a chance for a little bit of rain, uh, but temperatures at least will be feeling better in the mid 60s. A nice little rebound there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lisa. Well, coming up next on the Valley today, a local farmer is making sure that some Fargo students are getting into the Halloween spirit with a little homegrown donation.